Hello friends and greetings for the day. Welcome to another tutorial on our ISTQB Agile Tester Certification. We are in chapter one talking about introduction to AI and today we'll be stepping into 1.3 AI based and conventional based systems and also talking about 1.4 the AI technologies. In order to understand the same, let's step into the more details. The number one, we are trying to compare here the AI-based systems and the conventional systems, which is a very basic outline to understand how AI systems are different from the conventional systems. In a typical conventional computer system, which are our ordinary softwares which we use on our day-to-day -day world, the software is of course programmed by humans using an imperative language, which includes constructs such as if, then, else, and various other loops. Now it is relatively easy for humans to understand how the system transforms the inputs provided to the system into the desired outputs. And we are referring to all the languages like Java, Python, .NET, which we use to implement certain conventional applications. But on the other hand side, when we come to or talk about BI AI based systems, we say that in an AI based system, it is done using machine language. Now, pattern in the data are used by the system to determine how it should react in a future to the new data. It's more of like, instead of talking about uh, writing a program to detect certain things and behave accordingly, here we'll be using pattern-based data. That means trying with different responsive information to be fed in, in terms of like scanning the machine in a way that they can detect these informations at a later point of time and provide you the necessary outputs. For example, an AI-based image processor designed to identify the images of cats in, is a trained with a set of images known for containing cats. Now, there's a very typical example to understand how AI systems are being implemented or being giving you the right output. So we take, for example, 50 different pictures of cats and kind of like scan the machine in a way that it detects different variations of a cat picture. And next time, 51st image, when we show to the system, the system has capability of detecting it. Now, this is what happens when you talk about a kind of like robot check that you are not a robot. As a capture check, you do get images from Google, right? And they sometimes ask you, hey, which of the pictures contain a bridge? Which of the pictures contains a taxi? Which of the pictures contain a crosswalk, right? And these pictures are then understood by an AI-based system, which is right at the very, very fundamental level and try to detect that, yes, whether the user selected the right set of pictures or not. Now, given that, we would have given more than 100 plus pictures to this particular system to understand what is a crosswalk, 100 pictures to understand what is a bridge, 100 pictures to understand what is a taxi. Now, even if random pictures are used, the AI-based system is able to detect that what exactly a taxi looks like, whether the you know user selected the right set of pictures it will let you in. If in case you randomly selected something wrong, then it will again throw you a set of images to further fill up the right inputs. Now these patterns and rules are then applied to a new images in order to determine if they contained cats. In many AI-based systems, this results in the prediction making procedure being less easy to understand by the humans. That means we are more of talking about what exactly the system will be looking forward to in a way to detect themselves that what exactly are the different sort of images and how to classify them into a particular category. Other than that, it will not be possible enough to humans to do that particular sort of predictions. So images can be processed by giving them training through different patterns of data. Now in practice, AI-based systems can be implemented by a variety of technologies and the AI effect which we learned in our previous tutorial may determine what is currently considered to be an AI-based system and what is considered to be a conventional system. Just to quickly recall, AI effect was more of like what exactly is the current definition of AI, which certainly talks about how exactly the outcome of AI will be considered. So basically the changing perception of what constitutes AI is what we call it as AI effect. In order to further add today, we are looking forward to understand more about what are the various technologies which we can make use on AI-based systems. 
Of course, we do have the various techniques or technologies which we can talk about as a part of our AI-based technologies. Now, AI can be implemented using a wide range of technologies such as fuzzy logic, search algorithms, reasoning techniques which includes rule engines, detective classifiers, case-based reasoning, procedural reasoning, etc. Also machine learning techniques which includes neural networks, Bayesian models, decision trees, random forest, linear regression, logistic regressions, clustering algorithms, genetic algorithms, and support vector machine, which in short is also called as SVM. Now, generally AI-based systems can be dependent on any of these, but most of the time AI-based systems typically makes use of more than one techniques as well. Now, what are these technologies? How does this help a system to build? Or how do we roll out these kind of things to make an AI-based system? We'll be exploring that in our upcoming chapters when we start talking about how an ML model is being trained with these techniques. So for today, that's all what we had for you. We'll be looking forward to add more values in our upcoming tutorials, and you should stay tuned for that. So that's all from this particular tutorial team. Should you have anything else, feel free to comment below. I'm always there to address your queries and answer them well. Till then, keep learning, keep exploring, keep understanding the context. Thanks for watching the video team and happy learning.